Hey guys. What's up? We are on the White Island, which is yellow. Well, Island. some parts it's of it boiling. are yellow. Look, here. Boiling Island. Hey guys, so it's 2021 now and we have some footage from 2019, uh, we were hoping we would travel but hey, no one is traveling right now and that is being responsible. So we decided that it was really good footage and we wanted to show it to you, um, so that's what we're going to do in this anticipation video and for, next for our next uh, few videos journey. So, this is not a very happy video, although you're going to see some amazing footage. Um, and uh, we also very consciously waited for a while to release this video because it is our visit to the New Zealand volcano that erupted um, White very, very Island. shortly after we um, visited it. It was less, less than two weeks later, days, there, was yeah. an, there was an eruption. Um, and many people were injured, uh, several people died as a result of the eruption, so it was really tragic, and um, if they allow people back on White Island, I doubt it will look like this again, and that's, that's probably a big if. Um, I, don't, I don't know, because they didn't see this one coming. Um, well, I mean, the question was if they should have been allowing people um, back then, because for, I, I do believe that there was a... Um, uh, some court cases and there were several parties that were charged uh, for this But in any case, here's the footage. Please enjoy them safely and remotely. So we um, Went there by a helicopter. Yep. Uh, we chartered a helicopter. You can take a boat, but it's much more of a journey A boat is basically a whole day trip yeah. um, So we started from Rotorua, which is a town in the North, North Island of New Zealand and um, it's, um, it's very famous for its Maori culture. Um, we actually visited some Maori uh, villages there and met a lot of people. Uh, it was really good. Um, uh, and the first place that you see on the helicopter ride is this, what the footage that we're looking at right mm -hmm. now. And this is Mount Tarawera, which is another volcano. It's not the... There's, that whole area is volcanoes and everything. It's it, it's it's a very volcanically active area, um, and uh, this volcano actually erupted like 130 years ago or 80, so, 1880, 80 something, and that's yeah. that's why you see it like split like that. Technically, they say it was active 400,000 years ago, but it's a very volcanically active area, so there are a few surprises. It seems the colors um, at that place and the next place are just amazing i don't know if the, the video does does them justice um, i believe the, the flight was about 20 minutes to there and um, yeah you just land and you can walk around you can take pictures you can see the caldera that was formed cuz yeah this is literally just just kind of split open yeah um, from from all of the eruptions uh and it's really all inspiring pictures, that is for sure. And it's for sure New Zealand when you can see the, the, the long white cloud is, is what they call New Zealand in, in the Maori language, I believe. Yes. The, the, the land of the long white cloud. And there are a lot of long white clouds in New Zealand for sure. So that visit was very short. Yep. And um, um, now we're off to the actual... Um, White Island. Um, it is a bit of a journey. Um, I think it was about 20 minutes uh, to the mountain and I think it was another like 20 minutes or so to the actual White Island itself. Um, but you really get to see the landscape from this journey. It, it's really a good warm-up to the actual White Island itself because you get to see the evolving of the landscape. Um, there are a lot of uh, volcanically active, or used to be volcanically active areas 
uh, all around. Uh, and as you move closer and closer to the island, it's kind of like a, a, a gradual ramp up um, in the activity as well. You can see, I think you can see the island here. I think that's it right there. No, that is not. It wasn't it? It's I think further? It's, it's, it's way further down. Is it's it about, way further? I, I, if I remember correctly, it's around another 30 minutes over sea yeah. with um, the helicopter. These are just small islands on the way there. Oh, I think it might be like the very, very yeah. edge there. Um, these are just nice, amazing islands. We actually do have, uh, New Zealand has uh, numerous of these islands, and it has an area further north that is called... Yeah, that, that was that in the background. Yeah, that is called Thousand Islands, and we have another video on that. Uh, so here it is. Yes, that's the first views of it. The whole island is literally just the tip of a volcano. Yep. Um, and I'm guessing it's called White Island because of the um, uh, steam, um, but it's in reality, yeah, it is an actual yellow island. So I, I think the, the the Maori name is Wakari. And I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. It, yeah, don't count on correct pronunciations of anything from us. Um, so this is not like the type of volcano you have in your imagination, perhaps, where and like lava spews out of yeah. the sky. And the eruption wasn't like that. It's a, I, th I think it's a type of like chemical volcano. Uh, I don't know if that's a... Again, I, I don't think that's the official terminology. The, the eruption terminology. basically was just a very hot steam and debris. Like 700 degree steam that was moving extremely fast. fast. Yeah. Yeah, and you, you, like, you, to a point where you couldn't outrun it. And, so um, you will see that, yeah, sorry. Oh, I'm just going to say that the main substance in this area is uh, sulfur, I believe. It's and that's why it's stuff. yellow. It smells a lot. It's it's super yellow, mm -hmm. like very uh, vivid yellow. And that's why you will see we are wearing both uh, safety hats and we are given... Um, gas masks we in case we didn't feel very it's a pretty uh, light duty thing like it's 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 kind of like a light respiration device it's, it's, not it's like respirator a, yes yeah. it's it's not though like single use it's yeah like actually respirators yeah um so the the, the like uh, at the background there is like the caldera we, we're gonna walk there at some point mm -hmm. um so you're gonna see it and then the rest of the island has just streams of different temperatures of water some of it is boiling some of it is um, or near boiling, just uh, warm. Like you can, some of those you can touch. Others, it's not advised to touch. But you are advised to just follow um, behind uh, your guide, because apparently, like the ground is not um, throughout very um, solid. So there is, uh, there are areas that you're not supposed to step on. Yeah, so walking around this area, I remember there's basically gases coming through the rock. And in many places, it's not like a rock, like a stone, as you would imagine. Most of the rock that you see is kind of like... Um, brittle. Brittle, and it's kind of like a... a um, it doesn't it doesn't have the feel of a sponge, but it's, it's kind of like a sponge. It because, kind of shows how Because all these yeah. hot gases go through the rocks. There's all these tiny holes through the rocks. And some of the rocks, yeah, you can just like literally snap a piece off because that's that's kind of what happens in this area. It's it's a very surreal place. It's like an it's like an alien land when it comes to um, you know this versus just walking around on like a mountaintop. It's not like that at all. And you can see some of the boiling, or some. I actually, I don't know if that's boiling. Is was that one boiling? Yes. Well, these are, these or was that just gas coming through? I mean, it's like yeah, I, I tried to touch <laughs> it, but that's not. That's not, yeah, not, yeah. not advisable. Uh, it's literally just, yeah, boiling temperature. So it's literally just putting your finger in, in a boiling pan. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm sure some people probably are wondering about like the safety in this. It's like, wow, you actually got to go there and all that. Well, um, obviously it wasn't entirely safe as it erupted and uh, affected many people shortly after. In, in hindsight, after. yes. Yeah. In hindsight. But um, the safety measures uh, apparently are, uh, they had like a lot of mon monitor devices. Uh, they said that there was increased activity, but For still within, days a, before we go, still within we a went, safe yeah. range. And it, was, it wasn't like, oh my God, there's something to be worried about. The... the it and was, I don't know if you can see, like there is a um, a brown little box 
um, there. Yeah, that's one of the... Uh, there are a whole lot of these kind of boxes, and these are monitoring stations yeah. for this activity. So at that point, um, like they're monitoring the activity da daily, and it's it was supposed to be safe. Now, as I said, in hindsight, 10 days later, it actually erupted, and they were still monitoring the activity, and there were people on the island. Yeah. Um, so... We don't know exactly what happened and why it was so um, uh, so sudden. Um, uh, supposedly, just it didn't give any warnings that it would erupt. But uh, yeah, we were um, told it was safe, and we um, we were, we're like we were in, the, the atmosphere was eager. To, like, yes, there was, like and, better better photos because more activities. Yeah. That, and we that were was just, the atmosphere. just instructed to stay close and follow the instructions of our guide. This is just not strange. This is the, the main call so there. This, this is, is this is yeah. where the stuff comes out of, basically. Uh, I don't know what it's called. I'm sure there's terminology that we're we're not geologists, guys. Okay, we're, we're we're doing our best here, but it's kind of like this blue liquid with a lot of like uh, gases floating out of it and around it. That's that's kind of a, the, the center point of of this volcano. And then yeah, you have um, a whole lot of other holes around the island that it they, it's it's just geothermal activity and steam coming out of out of them out of everything i mean you, you can literally see it it's, it's gas coming out of rock that's why you have like that that porous rock around and you can even see it like you see that the, the the yellow remnants out of this one was was it here that we actually like touched it a little yeah i think you found a whole piece that you you like we didn't break any pieces, but I did, did, do think you found the whole piece of the, the. It's yeah, we didn't break anything, the but the, the the pieces were breaking off while we were there. Like that's yeah, it's it's crazy how how this thing exists. Honestly, that's a bit of a big hole. I don't think you want to be in there. <laughs> oh man, it's as I said, it's definitely all inspiring pictures and. Uh, I don't think they have resumed uh, visits yet, so... I don't know if they ever will. I don't know if they ever will. Uh, I think with these things, they they really have to go through and see what failed and have some reasonable degree of certainty that something like this wouldn't happen again. And proper procedures in place, yeah, so it doesn't happen. Yeah. Um, so you will see also... There are no trees or anything else on the island, but you will see some pieces of wood uh, that are driftwood from the sea, and you will also see, I believe soon, some um, old structures. Yeah, because um, the island used to have mines, sulfur uh, mines. Sulfur mines. There, there's a lot of mineral uh, minerals there. Mm -hmm. So they had sulfur mines, and um, there were people living there uh, permanently for several weeks at a time. Um, I think that was a long time before. Yeah. The, like, I think it was like maybe 80, maybe more years before this time. So, like, in early parts of the century. Yeah, they had a sulfur mine there. I think they had some, some form of, of accident or eruption. I, I, I don't remember exactly what the tour guide said. Because uh, uh, we, we were following the you tour guide, but we were also. The sulfur runoff. Yeah, we were also trying to get you know nice photos and stuff on the side. We weren't paying too much attention to the stories he was saying 100% all the time. And now we're going back to Rotorua, and we have included that in the video because it might not be White Island, but it's equally impressive. So the, the next of the images that you're going to see are inside the city of Rotorua, town. It's, it's not a very big city. And um, they literally have thermal springs and boiling mud in parks inside the city. Uh, there's also, again, sulfur there, so the whole um, port, the whole... Um, uh, duckies! Ducky, tiny duckies! Oh, we actually found... saw a passport there. Oh, yeah, that's In the true. water, and we had to, like, notify... There's literally a sign, don't up. feed the duckies, and there were other tourists just giving them, like, Actually, something. these are not like these are swans, by the way. Whatever, it's, I think it's close I enough. Okay, it's close I'm not, enough. I, I'm not sure what they are. Yeah, well, actually. they're cute. If you if you know what they are exactly, you can tell us. But this this is the within the town. This is within, this is a park. within the town. Yeah, this is just like next mud. To, the, to the road. Um, there is a whole park there that is yeah. You can go. You can see several spots of this kind of activity, and. 
like that is quite unsettling because it's it's well, mad and it is unsettling but at the same time it really gives you a feel for how this geological activity yes. happens and how new the place is relatively speaking I think speaking. this is like the, the geologist's dream to just go and, and walk there Sometimes you get like a big mud splashy one I think we waited a while for one but I'm not sure if you got it and no I'm not sure if you got it uh, And th- this is still in inside same the park. city Yeah same park it's just more pools with with geothermal activity and lots of steam and lots of sulfur and yes the smell there is is quite uh can uh, be quite potent can be quite potent no, you're talking about. yeah or not. see i got it is this the one big splashes <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's uh, it's quite an incredible place um, New Zealand's certainly out of reach for most people's travel plans, especially now when they can't even really travel outside a country, which is fair enough. But, um, you know, if you do get a chance in, in, in your lifetime, um, it's certainly a place like no other, and you'll see a bit more. Definitely recommended.